When you drive on the road or take a city bus, you know there's a risk that something could go wrong. So when it does, just how often is the city liable? As News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt discovered on special assignment, the price the public pays for some of those accidents might surprise you. When accidents involve city property or city workers hurt on the job, it's often the public that pays the price. Like this case from January, a woman exiting a city of Albuquerque bus trips and falls. Oh my God. Her foot is caught under the moving wheelchair ramp. Are you okay? No, I'm not. That thing is on my foot. Video shows the woman was on her cell phone as someone shouts. According to the incident report, the woman refused transport to the hospital and took the rail runner back to Santa Fe. I don't need an ambulance. But she later filed a claim, and the city paid out $25,000 for her injury. It could be a car accident, it could be property damage, it could be a slip, trip, and fall on a sidewalk. It could be any number of things. It's cases like this where the city of Albuquerque's risk management division comes in. Peter Ennen heads up the department. If someone feels they've been damaged by some action or inaction of the city, they can file a claim. We wanted to know which cases in the past year cost the city the most money. According to records, the most expensive categories are workers' comp claims and auto accidents. The city has 4,000 vehicles and 5,000 drivers. Uh, so we're involved in a lot of things out on the road. The city paid nearly $30,000 to a driver after a city bus backed into his car. Then there's a number of crashes involving Albuquerque police officers. The city is paying Officer Jonathan McDonald in an open workers' comp claim for injuries he suffered in a crash that killed a six-year-old boy back in April. Investigators say McDonald was on a call driving nearly 80 miles an hour in a 40-mile-an-hour zone seconds before his police cruiser plowed into a family's car at an intersection. I really can't talk about that case very much. While McDonald's workers' comp claim remains open, the city will likely face a wrongful death lawsuit. Then there are other not-so-well-known cases that prove costly. The city paid nearly $50,000 for a citizen's injuries after an officer caused a crash last year. According to the report, a female APD officer overcorrected, running into another car and guardrail on I-40. She told investigators that right before the crash, she was attempting to log on to her patrol car computer. In two cases on the list of expensive claims, officers were hit by suspects, forcing the city to pick up the tab. Last year, when BCSO deputies tried to stop a suspected armed carjackers, the suspects ran a red light, plowing into an APD officer who was not involved in the pursuit. The city paid more than $20,000 just to fix the squad car, plus more in workman's comp for the officer's injuries. Then in February, police say DWI suspect Gerard Martinez caused a city block worth of damage on Manal when he rear-ended a police car and crashed into light poles. That cost taxpayers more than 20 grand. We pay for it and then we do everything we can to recover from the person who caused the damage. But that doesn't always work. Each department in City Hall pays into the risk management budget, which ultimately traces back to Albuquerque taxpayers. In a given year, Ennin says the city handles two to three thousand claims. Some are considered frivolous. A guy goes to the city pool with his kids and, and his son throws his telephone in the pool and he tries to claim that it's our responsibility. Each case is investigated. Some tougher to tell who is at fault. On special assignment, Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 13. The city's risk manager says last year it saw the lowest number of claims on record. You can find a list of some of the city's most expensive claims. Just go to alwaysonkrqe.com.